Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and I'm a full-time reseller. I've got my little Christmas backdrop going. I don't have much on it yet. I don't know that I will, but we'll see. In this video, we are doing Rite Aid clearance, Rite Aid, RA, retail arbitrage. Basically just going to a bunch of different Rite Aids, probably 10, seeing what they have in their clearance section and pulling out all the goodies that I think are worth money. That is what I love most about Rite Aid versus like CVS or Walgreens and the other drugstores. They actually pull their clearance in aisles and end caps. So you can just go straight to the clearance and pick what you want. Whereas the other stores, they want you to do a little hunt for it. And it's like, I ain't got time for that. Now don't immediately click off because you don't have a Rite Aid. You can still look for this stuff on clearance or perhaps even regular price at other stores because more often than not, if something's on clearance at one place, it might be marked down at other stores as it gets phased out. So this all started because I stopped at my closest Rite Aid to see if they had anything good. Their clearance almost always sucks, so I don't stop there a lot. And I did end up finding some Vicks cough syrup on clearance that I sold for I think $20.99 a bottle. And I wanna say I picked something else up, but I can't remember what it was. Um, if I did, I'll place it here. This video was filmed from the beginning of October to mid-November, end of November, about where we are right now. So this is still recent stuff. You can probably still find it on the clearance end caps at Rite Aid. Like, it's still out there, you can find it. And as with all my other RA videos, I'll probably sprinkle some other stops in there. Number one, because it's accurate to how I work. I'm gonna do RA stops and I'm gonna do thrift stops in the same day because if they're close together, that's just how it works out. And number two, it keeps the video from getting a little boring. Now, on to the right aids. Roll the intro. I'm betting that I'm gonna hit some thrift stores too because you guys know how bored I get just going to the same stores over and over and if there's a thrift store nearby one of these right aids, you can bet that I will for sure be stopping. So who knows what else is gonna turn up in this video. You're about to see why I do these as voiceover videos. They take twice as long to make, but I feel it's worth it. Why is it so loud? At Rite Aid, the clearance tends to be on one or two end caps and sometimes an aisle. Now I can't talk about every item at every Rite Aid on every clearance shelf, but I'm gonna do my best to show you what I'm picking up and why and some of the things I'm not picking up and why. Cool? Cool. Okay, so let's start with this Magna Life. The yellow tag indicates the final price. If it's a white tag, you have to subtract 75%. In this case, I'm passing because Magna Life themselves are on the listing. There are some brands I'll compete with, but I'm not interested in competing with this one. What I'm not showing you is that I scan through most of this stuff, but the more Rite Aids you go to, the less things you'll have to scan because you will have encountered them before. These GNC products are a perfect place to stop and talk about IP complaints and Voris for a second. Voris is a law firm that pops up a lot for Amazon sellers because they send letters in the mail that basically try to scare you off of selling on a listing, usually by telling you you're using their client's trademark, aka their brand name, unauthorized, and you need to stop immediately. And I received one such letter selling GNC products in the past. Now, I am not a lawyer, so you cannot take my advice on this, but I personally ignore Vori's letters if I know I've sourced the product legitimately. In this case, Rite Aid is absolutely an authorized seller of GNC products, and I'm buying it from them. They would have a hard time proving that I'm selling inauthentic product. But I just wanted to put out there that GNC is a known Vori's brand, and if that upsets you, then you shouldn't pick them up but I will pick up GNC and just try and sell it very quickly. This is something I call the juice being worth the squeeze. And in the case of these turmeric capsules, 1250 into about 40, the juice is worth the squeeze. 864 into almost 25, another place where I can maybe undercut GNC, sell them real quick and still make a good profit. Then I turned my attention to these My Bite chocolates, which are not marked, and that is unfortunately common for some of these clearance items. You'll have to take them to the register and see what they ring up. I've sold the MyBite Energy and the MyBite Kids in the past, so these are going to be worth finding out. You'll notice I'm constantly turning the bottles around and over because I am looking for the expiration date. A lot of stuff on clearance is expired, and I'm going to urge you not to pick up expired stuff. 
These expired in October, so I left them behind. It would have been about four into a $15 to $17 selling price, which doesn't leave a lot of meat on the bones after shipping and fees. This twin pack of Neutrogena sunscreen is currently selling for about $14, so again, not much meat on the bones after shipping and fees. Sometimes you'll encounter a product with no Amazon listing, either by scanning the UPC or physically searching for it like these Bioactive Chews. Listings for the other flavors exist, but not the orange ones, so I checked eBay and decided to take a chance on them. The dates are good, I'll have at least six months to try and sell through what I buy, so I'll only buy as many as I think I can sell in that time frame. The My Bites ended up being $2.74 a piece, and I sold through them pretty quickly for $21.99 each. That was it for Rite Aid Stop 1, and of course I had to get a tea. On to Rite Aid number 2. I also make a stop in the stress and mood section looking for a product called Stress Tabs. While it was on a shortage last year, I sold it and made a bunch of money, but it did come back in stock. It's now out of stock again, and it might be for good this time. This one has two clearance end caps. This sugar-free Whitman chocolate sampler would only be $2.75, but it expires in December. The rank is good at $14,000, but with 64 other sellers, I'm doubting my chances of selling it before it expires. And feel free to call me spoiled, but I avoid listings that are this saturated. That's just how I choose to do business, you can choose to do differently. Let's see if we can find anything good on the second clearance end cap. I'm still not sure what to make of these Garnier Green Labs products. The rank is okay and there are a lot of reviews. I think it's one of those things that the price will go up once more people drop off the listing. I don't do a lot of buy and holds, but I might for this product. For some reason, these blue bottle GNC Total Lean products are gated for me on Amazon and they don't sell for nearly as much on eBay. So unless the eBay selling price supports it, I've been leaving these behind. Also, there are 28 listed to 16 sold. I prefer that ratio to be more even or far more sold than listed. Found some more of the Viactive Chews. These dates aren't as good as the last ones though. These Aveeno moisturizers are the exact type of product I love to find. The price was great. I paid $10.65 for the two of them and sold them very quickly in that same two pack for $41.99. The total profit was $19.23 for an ROI of 180%. Small, fast, and good margins. These are the exact kind of products I prioritize. Another Garnier Green Labs product that I think will benefit from holding. Like I said before, I don't tend to buy and hold a lot. I try and focus on things that are selling for a bunch right now. I realize that can seem very limiting, but that's how I choose to run my business. I currently don't have the storage space for speculation. Olay, much like the Aveeno, is another brand that does really well when their products get discontinued. It was only $9.10 and I sold it for $42.99, so this is going to be a product I want to find more of. Since we're heading into winter, I'm kind of lukewarm on picking up sunscreen, because like I mentioned before, I like things to sell pretty quickly and not sit. And while the single pack listing may look very tempting, $3.12 into $11.88, Amazon is on a much better ranking two pack for $8, and I just don't feel like competing with that. I'm also pretty lukewarm about picking up Eucerin because I'm still gated for it, and it doesn't sell quite as fast on eBay. If I was ungated, $3.75 into about $14 wouldn't be too terrible of a flip. And that is all I decided to pick up from Rite Aid number two. Another reason I like to do Rite Aids in bursts is you can earn and use coupons. Earn a coupon, spend it, end up earning another coupon, spend that, and it just keeps snowballing. I wanna urge you to keep an eye on the screen when things ring up because it is so common for the clearance to not come off and they have to do it manually. I had to stop and go pick my kids up from school, but it was such a gorgeous day, I could have been out doing Rite Aids all day decided to eat dinner and come back out for at least one more right aid today so that'll make three today and i'm glad i did because this right aid is absolutely stacked it's going to take me quite a while to scan through this stuff and what do we find first the exact thing i said i was looking for i paid 287 for these stress tabs and i sold them for 41.99 
these Centrum Fresh and Fruities were another great find, $3 into $26.99. Yet again, running into something that has no price tag on it. I think I brought these to the register and they ended up not being on clearance. I don't really remember, but they would have been worth about $18. Yep, I guess I did bring them to the register. A couple of familiar sights. The more Rite Aids you hit, the more you can laser focus on the things that are worth money. Once upon a time, last year, I was really excited to see these emergencies. They were on a shortage and they sold for a bunch of money and then they came back in stock and have been in stock ever since. Their stock is blocking my stuff, so I'm just gonna reach over it. Remember how I said I'm gated for the blue GNC, but if the price makes sense on eBay, I'll buy it? Well, this was one of those times where it made sense. 8.57 into $40. And the ratio is outstanding. Zero listed to 13 sold, so you know it's gonna sell fast. I've featured these in how many videos now? So picking them up is a no-brainer, especially heading into cold and flu season. And they're good on eBay now too, up to $20 a box. Will these be expired here too? Of course. In addition to a stack dial, we also got an end cap, which harbored a couple more slam dunks. This first Neutrogena was only $6.17 and I sold it for $37.99. The second was $3.95 and I sold it for $27.99. I was kind of ho-hum about this Olay. It's $1.57, which is great, but there's a big liquidator on it for $10. So if you want to sell it now, you're probably going to have to wait your turn. A couple more of these Garnier Green Labs for like no reason. I guess I'm in for a penny and for a pound on this experiment. And the Olay that's just as iffy, why not? It's so cheap and maybe it'll go up in price someday. But what's this I see? More things blocking a clearance end cap? I spotted this Fungi Cure for about $3 and sold it for $18.99. And a ridiculously mighty haul from Rite Aid number three. And I don't know why, but every time I'm out filming, I end up needing to get cat food. And I also saw a TikTok about letting your cats have silver vine cat toys instead of catnip, so naturally I had to try that. My TikTok is full of rants and stupid stuff like this and videos of my cats, so if that interests you, follow me on TikTok. If not, I don't blame you. And I saw this stuffed alien on the way out and got really excited until I realized it was a dog toy, so I passed on it, and that decision would haunt me. Why would an alien make me excited? Well, no reason, no reason at all. Enough about why I'm called Cosmic Heather and back to the Rite Aids. We got one end cap and nothing really looks like it's jumping out to me. And when reselling, it's really important to check any embarrassments at the door, lube, depends, a sperm quality test. Shouldn't matter if it's profitable. Check out with a whole basket full, who cares? Since the dates are good, I'm not really sure why I didn't pick this up. It would have been like $6.25 into around $35. A whole clearance aisle, love to see it. Let's play our favorite game, will it be expired? Of course it will. Extra expired this time. Despite looking really promising, this aisle did not yield anything. It was stuff I was either gated for, was expired, or didn't quite meet my picky mental algorithm. I'm sure there's some high volume, low profit opportunities here, but I just don't have the resources to extract it. So I budget my time wisely and I stick with higher ROI products. Another day, another Rite Aid. Are these getting boring yet? I hope not. We have an aisle with a pretty wide variety of items. Although cell phones don't really interest me that much, if the price is right, I'll flip them. These are $14.49 and the sale price seems to be $35 and up, so it's not too bad. This other phone is only $12.49 and the sale price is again $35 and up, so these might not be too bad to grab. If it's already on clearance and it has a money-saving coupon on it, I'm going to be interested. These new Genix are down to $10, plus with $2 off each, they're $8 and I sold them for $33.99 a box pretty quickly. 
They also have more of the Garnier Green Labs, but I think at this point I was like, you know what, I've got enough, so I just didn't bother to buy any more. If I wasn't prioritizing Fast Bunny, I would still buy them, but at this point of recording, I still haven't sold a single one. So that decision was probably for the best, unless they end up selling for like $40 in a year, in which case I'll be kicking myself. They also had two surprise clearance end caps, so always make sure that you're checking all the end caps in all the aisles. The only interesting thing I found were these Vicks cough drops for 67 cents a piece. They seem to sell for about $8 a bag, so they'd make an excellent FBA small and light flip because you still have a whole year on the dates. That was it for this store, and then I had to go stop and get myself that alien. And also say hi to the adoptable cats. Hi, hey, baby. You a boy or a girl? Hematite. You don't like being pregnant. I don't blame you. I gotta walk back to my car with my stuffed alien friend. Not looking like a weirdo or anything. I did manage to make it to two Rite Aids today. That's not too bad. Um, if we're gonna count the first one that was not on video, that makes what, five? I need to go to yesterday, three, four, five, six. No, six, I've been to six. So, four more. We're gonna see what else turns up. Um, it's pretty obvious why I wanted to buy the alien so badly. Safety first. That evening, I went to one more Rite Aid it turned out to be my first real strikeout. I didn't buy anything. This Olay wouldn't have been too bad if it wasn't expired. They seem to be expired at every Rite Aid I go to. It would have been about $10 into $23. Side note, when I listed my stress tabs, there were a few different listings to choose from. Most people were on the main listing, but there was one person on a different listing and they were charging half as much. So I ordered it, and much to my surprise, it showed up and it wasn't expired. They did put it in a poly mailer though, so it was completely smashed. Do not ship like this, by the way. You could turn around and sell this on Amazon, but without a paper trail and the box being a little smashed, it's safer to go on eBay. But you can absolutely do Amazon to eBay arbitrage if you find someone that just doesn't know what their stuff's worth. And while I was recording this voiceover, they showed up on the listing again, so I just bought it again. They do appear to be a newer Amazon seller, so maybe they just don't know any better. But I'm going to make some money, they're going to make some money, everybody's happy. It is Saturday. Um, I don't know how many Rite Aids I've been to at this point, so post-production me is going to put the number right here. Thank you. I actually got a text this morning that we're having a half-off day at my favorite thrift store, which I've made so many videos about. Um, so hopefully I find something good today, I'll bring you along for that. And then there is a Rite Aid right down the street, like maybe less than a minute. So we're going to check that Rite Aid as well, and then maybe one other stop. So this is going to be kind of a fun stop day. That's right, you guys refused to watch my thrifting videos, so now they get put in retail arbitrage videos. I'm just kidding. These videos are an authentic look at how I make money, and that includes bouncing around between retail arbitrage and thrift at the same time. This is the first Switch game I've ever seen here, but even at half off, it's not going to be a very good flip. Hmm, this Wii might be good though. But they have it priced at 65 and today only 60 and under is half off, so they knew what they were doing. I love to buy perfumes at the right price. This Rue 21 blush was brand new, I bought it for $3 and I sold it for $35. I also grabbed this Estee Lauder Pleasures for $7.50, I saw a similar comp for $30 for one that was not full and missing the cap. The real winner was the Estee Lauder Sensuous for $25, I sold it for $150. As much as I love old and discontinued, I didn't pick up this soft soap from 1991. I just thought it was interesting though and wanted to show you. You know how I love my doll bags, so I grabbed this one for $1.50 specifically because it had this Harry Styles doll in it. That's not really a problem, you can sell him nude. But I have this bag of leftover doll clothes that I've accumulated over the years and I dug through it and found him the perfect outfit. Wearing his new fabulous fuzzy trim coat and red satin pants, he sold for $40. This was only 45 cents, so I had to grab it. I sold it for about 17 bucks. This would have been a pretty okay flip for five bucks, if that was actually what was in the box. I was hoping to find at least one good plush today, and I didn't. This was as close as I got. You can sell them in a set for maybe $20, $30, but they're kind of big, so they'll take up a lot of bin space, making it not worth it for me. 
but you should still keep your eye out for IKEA plushes because there are certain ones that are worth a lot of money. Last was this Fairly Odd Parents art kit. There are no solds and there's one person asking $40 for one. I don't know, I feel like we're in a sweet spot for Nickelodeon nostalgia, so for 75 cents I'll take a chance and we'll see what happens. That's all I grabbed here, let's get back to the Rite Aids. They have this clearance pocket hidden by the mops and stuff. This men's Vita pack was originally almost $90, but I got it for $21.77 and I sold it pretty quickly for $54.99. I sold it on eBay because there wasn't much of a price advantage on Amazon and my box technically didn't match the picture. Not that that's always an issue, but it was just easier to sell it on eBay. Also had a clearance end cap. Another round of our favorite game. And yes, of course, it's expired. This M Drive supplement would only be $11.25 and it looks like you can sell it for about $30. I'm gated for this on Amazon and you likely are too. You can't hide from me. These are also on clearance at a local grocery store, so I knew exactly what it was and what it was worth. $7 into $37.99. I've already mentioned what this is worth and how happy I'd be to find another. But of course, somebody stole it. But the Rite Aid gods would bless me at the next store because I found one that was not stolen, and I sold it for more than last time. $46.99 versus $42.99 and a bonus Olay product that was also $9.09 and sold for $36.99. That's some sort of cosmic karma right there. And this store knew exactly what they were doing when they put lube and motion sickness pills in the wine aisle. Coming up on Rite Aid number 10, I've decided I'm going to give you 11 since I never actually filmed the first one. This end cap is looking a little anemic like yours truly. For $1.75, these Dr. Jacobs soaps caught my eye. The rank is amazing, but I'm gated for them and the only person selling them appears to be the brand owner. And they don't seem to be very popular on eBay, so it's not going to be a good flip. I've encountered a lot of these Seaweed Bath Co. things on clearance at most Rite Aids, so I investigated what might be going on with the brand. It's easy to assume, well, maybe they're being discontinued, maybe they're being reformulated, who knows. In this case, it looks like the entire line is being repackaged into different bottles. That doesn't mean they won't be worth money. Some people will swear by the old packaging, or sometimes the scents change and old scents aren't carried over. That said, I haven't really been picking any up, but who knows, that decision might come back to bite me. Does anyone truly need to detoxify their butt skin? I'm gonna say that's marketing nonsense. These Tamiflex look okay, though. $11.59 into around $27. That's really not too bad. Barefoot Scientist is another one of those brands that pops up on Rite Aid clearance a lot. But from what I've heard from other resellers, they're really protective of their IP, like more so than just sending a Vori's letter. I don't know how true that is, but I've decided to stay away from the brand anyway. They usually have the buy box for their own listings. Let's see if their clearance aisle makes up for their anemic end cap. At one and a half pounds and with a size this large, it doesn't matter that it's only $6.24 when the selling price is around $17. You won't double your money. And although these Sally products are nice and cheap and the rank is great, I'm gated for them on Amazon and the ratio of listed to solds on eBay is not very good. I've seen this particular Dr. Scholl's product on clearance at multiple stores, so without doing any research, that probably indicates that it's being discontinued. They're close to expiring, so I'm not going to get into them, but it would be $3.49 into about $12. If the dates were better, I would buy them and hold to see where the price goes. These GNC saw palmetto capsules were an unexpectedly quick flip. They are only $8.62 and I sold one for $23.99 and upped the second one to $25.99. Mine sold within 24 hours of listing. The same can't be said of this men's prostate formula. On Amazon, the only listing is for a two-pack and I only have one. I bought it just in case I'd find a second one, which spoiler alert, I didn't, so I listed it on eBay for $20 and it still hasn't sold. Finally found something just for me and not for resale. I personally use these and this is a fantastic price. And then I decided to circle back around to the first Rite Aid I didn't film at. So I'm literally back at the very first Rite Aid that I never filmed at and I still didn't film at it again because um, I was just wasting time before my kids got out of school and didn't expect to find anything. <laughs> they had one more of these, which was not here when I first started looking for stuff. 
and one more of these men capsules. I sold out of the two I found yesterday. Um, so that's cool. Check them again. Here we are in the home stretch, the 10th filmed Rite Aid. And like I said, you can't have shame in this job. The best thing here was these D-Pens. They're only $4 a bag and you can sell them in a four pack for 75. But I decided to leave them here. Something told me someone else might need the deal more than me. And because that stop was so short, I'm gonna give you another one. Rite Aid once again showing they have little regard for disability access. There wasn't much to write home about on this end cap anyway. But I did score one final sawpaw metal capsule. And so ends my Rite Aid RA clearance sweep. Okay, so update. I did sell out of the Viactive Chews. Somebody bought the remaining quantity on Bonanza and then within five minutes bought them again on Together. So I only have enough to fulfill the one order. So I feel like I'm gonna have to quest to even more Rite Aids to fulfill that second order because I don't wanna cancel it if I don't have to. I was a little worried about those at first because they were slow to move, but yeah, I sold out. So I would recommend picking those up if the dates are good. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so since I have no set upload schedule. I usually make one video a month and if you want to see it pop up in your feed, being subscribed is the best way to tell YouTube to do that. If you're still here watching at the very end, leave me a thumbs up so I know. And if you find any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments what kind of goodies you've been finding at Rite Aid or if you've found any of the stuff I've talked about or you can just DM me or tag me on Instagram because I love seeing you guys win. Now get out there, have fun, and find something good.